When Brian and I started DIY Modern, we shopped around for a table saw to use for our projects. Since we don't have room for an actual shop, all the tools we need have to be portable. The DeWalt 7480 job site saw seemed to be the best compromise between portability, quality, and price. The problem with this saw is the small footprint of the table. While this makes it easy to move around, cutting larger pieces of wood and especially some sleds can be a bit precarious. Our solution was to add some extra table surface to the front and rear of the saw. Our simple design consists of four lengths of plywood with routed channels that match the channels on the tabletop. The side pieces are bolted directly to the sides of the aluminum table via drilled and tapped holes. We used one quarter inch by 20 bolts to attach the plywood to the sides of the table. Visit our website at diy-modern.com to download the free plan for this project. make room for the flanges that extend out the ends of the table, we made a small jig the same size as the flange and used a flush cutting router bit in our trim router to route divots into the plywood. To cut the channels for the front and rear plywood pieces, we used the flush cutting router bit again. To make the channels easier to cut, we used an adjustable slot making router jig.
I'm really happy with the stability we get when using the saw now. And since the extension doesn't add much weight to the saw and is still rather easy to carry and set up, we just leave it attached. Thanks for watching.